one more questions from the chapter reproduction let us go into the questions the first question is nowadays seedless watermelon are produced what is this process called it refers that what is the process involved in production of seedless fruits it is parthenocarpy next question in which food industry budding is applied the best example for budding is yeast hence in bakery industry yeast is used for its budding property next question what are the tissues involved in the formation of placenta 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 is a tissue which is formed during the development of embryo in the mother's womb so the placenta is formed by the tissues of chorion of fetus and the adjacent part of the uterine tissue the chorion is the membrane of uh, surrounding the fetus so some part of the chorion as well as the tissues present in the uterine wall that is uterus of the mother hence the tissues of fetus as well as tissues of mother are involved in the formation of placenta next question why are the egg cells larger than sperm cells after fertilization the egg cells has to facilitate the development of embryo and also it has to provide the nutrients for the developing embryo so it contains all the requirements for facilitating the embryo development as well as it contains a lot of nutrients which have to be provided for the embryo hence it is larger when compared to the sperm cells next question what happens if reproduction does not take place at all in the living organisms the population of the particular community will will not sustain and it may lead to the extinction of the species and in turn it may result some imbalance in the nature so if the reproduction does not take place the new generations will not be produced then the particular population will be eliminated from the earth next question give examples for the modes of asexual reproduction through binary fission and budding the example for binary fission is amoeba and bacteria where uh, these are the unicellular organisms in which one cell is divided into two cells and the example for budding is yeast and hydra next question how does the pollen reach the stigma in the flowers having either one of the stamen or pistil it means the flowers with either stamen or pistil such kind of flowers are called as unisexual flowers so what kind of pollination that takes place in unisexual flowers the pollen of one flower reach the stigma of another flower by different agents like wind insects birds etc this is known as cross pollination hence in the unisexual flowers the cross pollination takes place <music>